dressing room uh, in, in 1981, it was like everybody was like a family, everybody in the dressing room. The atmosphere, you know, to, to my whole career, the atmosphere in, in those days, in 81 and 81, uh, was the best atmosphere. And especially in those years, you didn't, you didn't have uh, your, your range of uh, styles, you didn't have a lot to choose from. A baby face did it this way, and a heel did it this way. And when I jumped, and it was just, he sent it just at the right time when I was in the air. And it was powder, you know, and uh, uh, salt in it. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you what they did, Sean, is that he threw that, the powder did the job, you know. I, and then when I landed, and, I, and then somebody came into, um, uh, uh, with, with a, um, a, a towel, uh -huh. and there were some onions in it. <laughs> to get the tears uh -huh. and the eyes red, and the, you know, to give that effect, you know. Uh, we, we really trusted each other, weren't there to steal each other's light. I mean, we, we were there to make each other look great, and, and we had one thing in common, we wanted a great match, and uh, that face of his, and uh, I mean, he looked like a moon dog, I mean, he was, <laughs> And he was, uh, you know, for his size, he could take some really good bumps, you know, and uh, he was very colorful. Yeah. He brought in the moon dogs uh, the, the color in it, you know. Randy was more a mechanical. Well, that alcohol thins the blood a little, <laughs> so you tend to get a little more color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's a ridiculous question. Was Lou drinking that night? Well, yeah, it is a ridiculous question because, uh, you know, Lou, I mean, uh, when Lou was not drinking, I mean, uh, you know, I mean. He was sleeping. He, yeah, you know. Uh, you know, Lou was, uh, you know, he liked the, the, the vodka, you know what I mean? And of course, he started, you know, and as the, the, like the television, uh, you know, we used to do these TV days, you know, and at the beginning, okay, and then by the end, you by know. By the third like, taping. Holy Christ, by the third taping, you know, Lou was going crazy. And, and you know, you look at, at Senior looking at him, it's like a, like a dad looking at his kid, you know, and going, ah. Oh. You know, he had that look, of course. Everybody, you were saying earlier that uh, is there some people you know that are going to hit it big. I mean, him, not just because of his size, but of his charisma. You know, when, when Hulk went to, walked into a, a room, he owned that room. You know, I mean, you could tell this guy was going to hit it big. You know? I was living by myself, and the doctor had said, well, after the concussion, he shouldn't be alone, you know, for a long time. And uh, so Gino said, hey, Rick, you know, come and spend a couple of days in my home, you know, and you're welcome. And then, so it was Christmas Day, you know, and, and he went and uh, had his wife buy me a gift, you know, there was gifts under the tree, and, and, uh, and there was one for me. I couldn't believe it, you know, what a, what a wow. really nice guy. SD didn't have the respect anymore, you know, because he, he's like the, the girl that's hanging around that bar for too long, you know. <laughs> You know, and uh, you've been seeing her for a long time. Ah, well, you know. And then the new one comes in, and oh yes, you know. So, uh, so that's why SD uh, didn't have uh, the push that maybe he rightly deserved. So, and he had this thing, you know, this fart thing. He was like a big kid, you know. So imagine you're in an elevator, you know, with Andre, and and he goes, you know, it's like it sounded really like a fart, you know, it's a farting machine, you know. And people go, but nobody wants to, you know, <laughs> this huge guy is farting, you know, you don't want to say, hey, you son of a bitch. It's like senior, you know, he knew he had these wild horses and all that. He knew, he probably knew they, if, if they let him go, he, they could go, but he didn't. You know, he said, hey, look, I'm happy. I'm, I'm going to get there on time. And I'm, you know, he was holding it back, you know, uh, because things were working. Things were doing great. He was doing fantastic business. Mm -hmm.